everyone welcome back to the channel this is lifestyle with Chris and in today's video I'll be addressing a question that has been posed to me quite a few times and that is is it possible for someone to acquire or to obtain accommodation before landing in Canada and the answer to that is Alright guys, so if this is the first time you landed on this channel, I am, but I was an international student in Canada. I am still residing in Canada, just completed my studies and what I do, I share um, my life here. I share things that I like, my experiences, and I try to be transparent as possible. All right, so if this is something that you'll be interested in, I urge you to subscribe, click on the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. All right, so let's get right into the video. All right, so let's answer the question, is it possible for someone to obtain the accommodation before landing in Canada? Now, in my experience, and I love sharing my experience, as you guys know, um, after obtaining my approval for my study visa, I was excited. The anxiety started to step in. I was just, I just couldn't wait to get here. And you know, it is important for us to know where we're going to live, right? Because I mean, landing in Canada in a strange country, especially where you have no friends, no families, nobody. It is extremely important that you have your plans set aside, you know, what you're about, you know, what to do and all of that. First thing I did was to join Facebook groups. And I joined Facebook groups with the intention of, of course, finding accommodation. So you join those kind of Facebook groups where they post accommodation and they post different types of accommodation like um, rooms, um, apartments, condos, and the list goes on. The second thing that I did was to sign up for Kijiji. Um, it's, a, it's like a marketplace where they sell and buy and different things like that all right so you can sign up and start looking for accommodation that is exactly what i did as well so let's let me just give you a little ex thing experience something that happened to me on kijiji now i found a place on kijiji and i reached out to the individual and let them know who i am i view the pictures and all of that um the person was very responsive let the person know who was going to live in the place um the date and everything and Things were looking really positive, right? Really positive. I got onto someone who was living here and I asked them to go and view the place and they agreed, right? They were so happy to do it for me. And they made arrangements with the with the land with the landlord to look at the accommodation. Got back to the landlord and I, I, I was so excited, you know, that okay, at least I got somebody to physically go and look for look at the apartment. And you know, I was really disappointed because after after that person viewed the apartment for me, I contacted the landlord and he said that the place is no longer available. And that was just like one hour after my friend looked at the apartment. I was really, really upset. I was really upset, I was disappointed. How come after one hour, you are telling me that the apartment is not available anymore? You know, so when you're talking about things like discrimination and racism, it's, it's something that you may experience when you get here. I even experienced it before getting here, and I will see, I will see that it it is, it was a discrimination or maybe racism, and I will let you know why I said that. As you heard me before, that I joined um, Facebook mm -hmm. advertised for accommodation and all of that. She told me she said. She don't understand why because the, the person was really nice to her and explained a lot of things so she really was confused as well because i just moved on from there because i couldn't be bothered and i couldn't i couldn't let that that situation you know just stand in my way and let me feel a certain way i just continued looking for places on um on facebook and lo and behold i saw the accommodation that i that I looked at, that my friend looked at, it was posted on on Facebook that same day, right? The person posted on Facebook saying that it is, a, it is available and all of that. So that is that is what that is why I that I came to the conclusion that maybe because maybe of my skin color, or maybe they know that it's a black person. I don't know, but that is what I think. 
right? Because I don't, I don't know what else to think about, right? So I just had to share that experience. It is important for you to just be aware of who you are renting from because it is, it is not going to be easy, guys. It's not going to be easy. It was my experience um, getting, well, looking for accommodation. After a few tries, I called around a few places. Another thing that I did was to get a virtual phone number, a virtual Canadian phone number so that I can call um, because once they know that you're not here, they're going to it's gonna be even harder so I just got a virtual phone number and called around a few places but most of the places weren't available until the next two months or the next three months and that it was it was getting really frustrating people it was getting really frustrating so what I did was just in, so you know what I think it's better for me to you know just land in Canada and then just maybe get um landing up get in a hotel stay there for a few days and then maybe i'll look around on my own all right that in itself poses some challenges it poses a lot of challenges even though i said i will do that i still called around some places and i call a property management company and they told me that they gave me a list of things that i needed to get and that in itself was frustration. I, I couldn't deal with all of that. I couldn't deal with all of it. A lot of them said, you know, you can just come and rent a room and stay there for a while because it's really difficult. You know, when you rent it in Canada, you have to look for a place like two months in advance before you get here and all of that. And it is the truth. You have to look for places. Even in Canada itself, if you're looking to move out, it is you have to give the landlord like 60 days notice and <laughs> you have to give the landlord 60 days notice um, so that they can start looking for tenants, you know, so you have to do everything in advance. So that was really challenging for me. Now to the question, is it possible to um, obtain obtain um, accommodation while you're in your home country? Yes, you can. You can do the same thing that I did and that I was getting somebody to go and view the place. It is not safe to just go on a website and say, okay, I want to get this apartment. And stuff like it's not safe to do that it is not safe at all what can happen is that you can lose your money and there are a lot of scammers here that they know that there are a lot of international students coming to Canada and not even only international students but there are a lot of persons who are coming to Canada and maybe looking for an accommodation it happened to me on Facebook when I, when I reached out to this person the place was really nice really 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 nice and the person told me that I needed to make a payment before anybody takes it because there are the, there a lot of persons who are behind the apartment he even told me that he couldn't come to let me view the apartment because he was out of town so that so what I could do is just send him a uh, payment so that he can hold the place for me and you're learn that um, I know that is a scam I know that it's something very fishy and that is the tactics that people use and if you're not aware of these things you will give in to it and just lose your money so it's just better that if you want to obtain accommodation before getting here you can contact persons who offer that service there are lots of persons who offer that service to go around and look physically for you and do all the transactions for you help you guide you along the way and and then yes it is possible to do that and that is how you can actually land in your apartment here or your place of accommodation in Canada but if you don't have anybody if you are not able to um, like pay for services you can even ask family if they are able to do it but most times families don't really have the time because they are so caught up in their own life here um, Canada is not an easy place and so they may be working so they may not have the time to do that so then don't get upset if they can't do it okay but if you find a family member who can take take that um, you can try that out. My opinion is better to just come, stay in a stay in a hotel for a few days, or maybe stay by a friend for a few days if you have that um, if you have that opportunity, and just look around for yourself. Um, I know it's going to be difficult, but when you get here in Canada, it's 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 just a whole different ball game that's going to be playing. All right. In terms of what kind of accommodation you should get, I think that if you're a single person, it is better and it's more convenient for you to get a room. It is cheaper and you will be able to save a lot more. It doesn't 
meet all the requirements you need for an apartment so it's just better to rent a room as opposed to if you're coming with a family all right then you can rent an apartment but if you're coming by yourself i just think it's better to just rent you and this is coming from somebody who have lived on their own from a very long time i know you may be saying or you might be thinking or feeling as though you cannot share accommodation with somebody how could you share a washroom how could you share a kitchen i know how you feel and i had to make that kind of adjustment you know it's not easy guys but it's just part of the survival process out here never thought in my wildest dream that i would have been sharing a room and i would have been renting a room and sharing common spaces with others that was never in my plan but you know in order, in order to survive and in order to just make things work around your budget especially that is what i had to do i came here with my daughter and we i went to the room we were in a room in a one room we shared living spaces with others and all of that so you just have to be really mindful of all these things i know you want to come and live your life but you, if you're coming as a student i don't think that you should be really focusing on living, living it up you should just be focused on surviving and um, just doing what you have to do to reach to your full um to meet your goal because i know that the ultimate goal is to to get your pr all right studying here is not your ultimate goal because most of us are coming um just for that reason all right so yeah it is possible to get an apartment while outside of canada but i prefer i will prefer to get here and then look for an apartment and looking for an apartment while you're here is a lot of work i have experienced this for a very long time where I will call around asking for places no we don't have any accommodation maybe next two months call back in the next month or so and it's just really difficult I I used to think that it's what's because I was in my home country why I was not getting through but coming here and experiencing it it's just a whole different ball game all right so that is just what I think there are some things that you need to do to there are a list of requirements needed, right, to acquire an apartment. Because I did try to get an apartment, but I was not eligible. And one of the things that they ask for is credit history. Where am I going to get credit history from? I don't have credit history. I just landed. So if you don't have credit history, what they ask you to get is like a co-signer. And that person is going to sign with you. That person has to have good credit. They have to be employed. And they have to sign and 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 just be there just in case you don't pay your rent. They have to show their bank information and to get somebody to do that is very difficult, especially if you have nobody here. It is even equally difficult, even if you have somebody here because most people will not want to take that risk. So that is why I'm saying, that's why I'm pushing the fact that to get a room, right? Because it doesn't call for all of that. Um, requirements just getting a room is just gonna save you a lot of money and you don't have to worry about so many different um, paperwork to do and all of that all right so with all my trials and all of that after not getting through and I came here I I landed I got into a hotel for a couple of days my one of a friend of mine she she told me about a room that was available I did view the room I like the room um as you know when you're renting a room you have to share common spaces like the bath the washroom area the laundry the, the kitchen and all of that so yes i rented a room and my daughter we rented a room for one month then we moved into a bigger room and uh, things didn't work out in that room i stayed there for like two months and then i just kept looking and kept looking and i like i looked on kgg and i found this basement and i viewed the basement and then i moved into the basement and that is where i am till this day all right and i'm not going to be moving from here until my other until my family gets here all right because of course i will need a bigger space but before i got to this basement i actually looked at another basement and you know when i talk about racism you might say oh everything for all is racism but let's look at it i went to look at a basement not too far from remnant and now and um 
looked at it the person was really good on facebook facebook um chat i i went to look at the basement she showed me around they told me a lot of things they said if you're interested just message us back you sign the contract you do your payment whatever when i got home i sent a message for the person up to this day that person has not responded up to this day i have not gotten a yes a no and maybe another nothing. thing i experienced was looking at facebook marketplace that's another place that you that you can look i forgot to mention that but you know um i look at this nice um um room for rent that, that, that is of course before coming to this basement i looked at another room for rent um it was really nice i i contacted the person i got to the apartment well it was like a tongue house actually got to the tongue house the lady showed me around we talked we chatted we laughed and all of that um she told me the requirements what i needed to do and stuff like that when i got back home i messaged this lady this lady i messaged her and then she told me that oh she's sorry but um, she's not renting again because her family is coming to stay with her and that they, she would need the accommodation i said okay no problem thank you very much for letting me know <laughs> a few moments after the lady posted in a facebook group i don't know why they keep doing that she posted in a facebook group advertising the room availability now tell me what is that is that just coincidence i bet you not i'm not telling you this to say that okay everybody you that you will experience it i'm just sharing my experience right i am here in this basement and i thank god for the landlord that i had the landlady that i have she's really nice um i never expected it some of the things that people would ask you when you're looking for accommodation especially if you're going to be living like in a basement where the landlord is residing they're gonna ask you some of them don't, don't some of them want you to be maybe a vegetarian their preferences are vegetarian their preferences maybe of a particular group of people things of that 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 nature all right so just just give it a little heads up so that you will be surprised that these are these some of the requirements that some of these landlords ask for be diligent in your looking and you'll find a place that you, you like all right now this is just my two cents if you still want to try to do it while you're there well i have i have said it i have given you my experience and i have given you my thoughts on it so i hope that you make the, the best decision all right so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to like this video when you like this when you like my videos what happens is that it pushes out but when you don't like it then it just stays there and nobody gets to see my video so please do me a favor and smash that like button give me a smash that like button smash the notification bell so that this video can be seen by others who wants to come to canada to study all right guys so have a great one and thank you for watching bye, -bye.